very talented young girl who is wise beyond her age. She writes, composes, and produces music. She's even a publisher author, a published author. She's a dancer and a choreographer. Some of her strengths include public speaking and playing the piano. Plus, she has many artistic endeavors. She has been using her talent to help spread positivity in her community, church, and on the social media platform that she uses. Iyanu has, I'm going to show you a couple of books from Iyanu. Can I get the books, please? This is to encourage our youth to do what you love to do. And parents, to please watch your kids. That's what we did not, we did not do when we were young. This is one of Iyanu's books. They are online. So, without wasting time, I will implore all parents to watch your kids from childhood. See what they do and encourage them. Yano has been showing this since she was a baby. And the people, the parents watch, watch and encourage her. To where she is, today. I know she's going to a higher class. Amen. Please welcome us to. Hello, everyone. My name is Niano, and today I will be talking about anti hate security measures. This is very serious and can help many people with their problems. So take this topic seriously. This is a matter of life and death. You might ask, what is anti-hate security measures? Let me break it down for you. Anti means against. Hate means dislike. Security means protection. And measures is regulation. What do some people bully for? Most people bully because bad things are happening in their homes and they want to take it out on other people. But people bully because of someone's height, race, religion, culture, age, gender, financial status, where they live, accents, fa facial features, and more. What I mean by this is that for height, some people bully because you are taller or shorter than an average male or female. For age, people bully because you're young and when you apply for a dangerous job, people will think, oh, she or he is a kid and they probably don't understand anything about this job. Some people will bully because of religion. For example, some people will say, she is Muslim, look at her hijab. They have weird rules. For gender, some people say she is a woman. Women are useless. I am against tape, and if you are not against tape, you should be against tape. Here is why. You shouldn't hate or bully anyone because people will be hurt if you hate or bully them. Some people get depressed or even 50% commit suicide because they can't handle it. Can you believe that in 2020, there are over 2,000 hate crimes in Canada? They say whatever you put out to the world will always come back to you sooner or later. If you sow hatred, you will reap hatred. If you sow love, you will reap love. The world is running like a clock. There is a time for sowing and a time for harvest. You reap whatever you sow, so be mindful of what you are doing. When people get bullied, they have low self-esteem, and they think they have no reason to live. Personally, I think everyone has potential. No one, nobody is perfect, no one is dumb, a loser, or a failure. Everyone has a purpose in life. You might have found it, and you might have not found it yet. Bullies threaten other kids because they know a secret about the kid, thus they bully. So what is the best thing to do in this situation? Well, the best thing to do is to, sell, to tell someone you trust, like a teacher, a parent, or even a principal. Try to ignore the bully. Don't let them talk to you very much. 
Did you know that there's Anti-Bullying Day in February? It's to prevent bullying and to raise awareness about bullying. What are the types of bullying? The common types of bullying are verbal bullying, physical bullying, social bullying, and cyber bullying. What do each of these types of bullying mean? Verbal bullying means using words to bully, using the words loser, fat, poor, and others. Physical bullying is beating someone up or punching someone. Social bullying is spreading rumors about someone, humiliating someone in public, or excluding someone. And cyberbullying is bullying someone online, like commenting bad things on someone's videos or pictures. Now, let's move on to security measures. Why is security measures important? It's to keep yourself safe from dangerous people, such as thieves, kidnappers, or even attacks or threats. Everyone must be protected and safe from stalkers, bullies, thieves, kidnappers, and more. How you can protect yourself from any bully or anyone who hates you is to always secure your email or your mail. You should always know who is bullying you so you can be more aware of what that person is going to do to you. If the bully comes to your house or cottage or building, don't open the door at once. Just blast music and ignore them. Act like you don't hear them. Always stay strong in every situation. Don't cry, be secure, or even commit insecure, or be, or even commit suicide. I would like to say a quote by Nelson Mandela. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin, or his background, or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they must be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. Here's my own quote. Be against hate and be brave. Don't bully or hate. Just be nice to everyone. Always. Thank you for giving me your time and have a great evening.